soy yo. Are you eight? Yep, You swear to God? Yeah. Hurry up, I'm off. I am. Uh, he's death rolling like crazy. It's a perfect size for a catching coat. He's stuck. Yeah, I know. You gotta get him. Come hold the rock. <laughs> he's nice, he's dude. I am. He's nice. Yeah, he's good enough for a catching coat. Yeah. Dude, that's perfect. All right, guys, we got our snakehead for the catch and cook. We're gonna go bring him home. All right, guys, mission accomplished. Let's get him on ice. We got a car coming. They're probably gonna be like, "What the hell?" It's all right, though. It's supposed to kill these things. I don't recommend it. But if you're gonna kill something, eat it. That's how I look at it. Hold up. Open the tailgate for me. Got a nice bag of ice. You can only okay. pour it out. Yeah. So what we did guys was Right after getting him out of the water, I cut his gill plates so he could bleed out. All right, guys, we got the snakehead here. Probably like three and a half pounds, maybe four. A decent one, he's got some meat right there. This is my first time flying a snakehead, obviously. My buddy told me, cut down straight down to the back, go right across, fairly simple. The meat's cold, had them on ice for probably like an hour. So, let's get to it, guys. I'm not worried about savior, savoring meat right now, honestly. I'm gonna just try it. I don't need a full course meal right now. I mean, look good, at his man. eye. Never seen their eyes that color. Look at that one's not. See that orange eye? Yeah. Look at that slime. That's some white meat. Yes, sir. Looks like a Whatever. Nice. Good enough, right? Yeah. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's a white It's gonna be more than enough for everybody to try. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's get back to it. Get the other side off. I'll probably waste a little here, too, but it's alright.
it's looking good. Wash it down a little bit more. Get all the little pieces off of here in a second. We shall clean up the rest in the house, cut them into little chicken nugget sized pieces, and then, honestly, I mean, I could cook it, but I'm probably gonna let my mom do it just so she makes it really good. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we have the snakehead meat, and it looks very good. Very good. I cut a bunch of little tiny whatever backbone or whatever it was out. Got it all cleaned up, ready to go. Like I said, I didn't try to savor any meat. Like, obviously I could have filleted it better if I took my time, but I don't really care. I just wanted to try it. Everyone says it's really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up into like, I don't know, what I think would be ideal chicken nugget sized pieces. And then they'll be ready to soak in milk and egg. And then we'll be putting breadcrumbs on them and throwing them on the frying pan. Um, definitely gonna have my mom do that because she's gonna put and she'll probably add some lemon to it. But she cooks every fish that I bring home amazing, so I do not doubt her abilities with the snakehead. And I'm very anxious to try this meat. This meat looks oh my god, that meat it looks really good. It's probably gonna be amazing. Actually, I know it's gonna be amazing. All right, guys, we got our chicken nugget sized pieces. Got a couple more things to do to them, and then they'll be ready for the stove. Stay tuned. We are about to make fried snakehead nuggets. So what we're going to do to begin, which I've already done, is we took eggs, milk, some salt and pepper, and we whipped it around because we're gonna dunk the chunks of snakehead fish in there. So it's all set to go. So we're gonna just take about half of what we have here and coat them real good with the egg mixture. And right here we have breadcrumbs. You could use any kind you'd like. Uh, we just happen to have plain breadcrumbs. You can season them, do whatever you want. So now, instead of using my hands, we are gonna put the chunks of snake head into the breadcrumbs and coat them real well. Whoops. You could use your hands, but I don't like to get my hands all messy. Uh, the lemon is there actually for after or before uh, we already did squeeze a little lemon on. If it were a fishy fish, it would take the fish out, the fish smell, but it's not fishy at all. Okay. Now, okay, now that they are breaded real good, we're going to take a clean plate and place them, oops, on the clean plate and get ready to fry them. So... While I was doing that, I have olive oil heating in the pan. Uh, where's our olive oil? Now we've battered the fish and we've had our olive oil boiling. The best kind is extra virgin, virgin olive oil. It's the best kind, most flavor. Now we're gonna put this into our pan. And I would say, we're gonna let it sit about two minutes to three minutes and then we'll flip it over. And it shouldn't take more than five to six minutes to have them fully cooked. We'll put the top on so the oil doesn't splatter and let it sit for about two to three minutes. Okay, so it's been about two minutes. Now we're just gonna flip each piece over. I may have had the heat a little high, but we have a couple of batches. So sometimes the first batch is a little browner, but it still tastes really good because it's crunchy. 
So instead of three minutes, I lowered the heat a little and we're just going to let it sit on this side for about two minutes. And, okay, so it's been two minutes, and now we're going to flip it onto a clean plate with a paper towel. So it takes any excess grease out. Olive oil is good for you, but you don't want it to be drowning in grease. So actually, these look like they're cooked perfect, and once we get them all out, you should not eat them for probably, I would say five minutes because they're actually still cooking while they're sitting here. And we have some tartar sauce and fresh lemon. You can dip it, squirt some lemon on there and delicious. The snakehead has cooled down, made wonderfully by my mother. We're gonna all go ahead and try it for the first time. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh my gosh. Oh, Tastes like chicken. Tastes like chicken. Well, lighter like, than chicken. Tastes like Thai. <laughs> it's really good. It's I'm surprised. Oh, it's it, very good. I'm telling you. Do you want a little tartar sauce, Joey? When you see a snake, that's fire. you don't wouldn't imagine that it would taste like this. No. Very good. Very, very light. Tastes like chicken. I'm very well prepared by the chef. Oh, oh my gosh. Is it, it's good with lemon on it too. Yeah. All right, Evan. Sure, bit, bit into like great job. Oh, it is good.